Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let's get started on this green smoky eye using the Androgyny palette by Jeffree Star. And we're gonna start by prepping the eye with a Max Up Corker Paint Pot and setting that with a translucent powder. Uh, then we're gonna go into the Fabulous palette by Jeffree Star and we're gonna take the color Charm and we're going to take it with a 224 blending brush uh, by MAC and make sure you blend that all over the crease and really smoke out this color. Now that we have this color blown out, we're going to take Military, the main color of this look and with a uh, flat shading brush and we're going to just pack that all over the lip. Okay, so taking another blending brush, this is a clean one, we're going to go ahead and blend the edges so that the two colors can merge together. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and reapply the color military. Blending brush by MAC, the same one, uh, we're going to take the color, a tiny bit of charm again and we're just going to go ahead and blend the edges again. With the electric palette by Urban Decay, I'm going to take the color, that lime green color called Thrash and I'm going to place that in the inner corner with a small detailing brush um, and then take a blending brush and then blend uh, kind of the edges a little bit and then repack that color again. I didn't think that this color was bright enough I went ahead and took a liquid liner glitter by NYX and I placed that on the inner corner right on top of that lime green and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my index finger and tap tap on the glitter so that it's more sparse um, and I don't have it all accumulated in one spot and then I'm going to take frosting by the um, by the Jeffree Star palette and I'm gonna put a little bit of that on the inner corner. Grabbing a makeup remover and a q-tip I'm going to sharpen up and clean up the outer edge uh, to give us a really clean guideline for the cat eye we are about to do and with the cat eye I like to use a very small eyeliner brush by MAC which is a 283 I believe and the uh, Maybelline Black is Black uh, Cream Eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and add mascara and a pair of false eyelashes. And I'm gonna go ahead and also put some black eyeliner on the bottom on the waterline so while I'm doing the face it'll smudge a little bit and go down. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab the NYX primer um, spray and I'm gonna spray that all over her face to uh, really prime the the face so that the makeup can stay longer and I'm also going to grab a liquid illuminator by uh, L'Oreal and uh, it also acts like a primer and I'm gonna put that all over her face so that she can have a beautiful glow and this is gonna make her look like a disco ball. my favorite foundation which is the Studio Fix Fluid by MAC in the shade NC20 uh, with a blending ultimate blending brush by e.l.f. and just really work that into the skin and also I'm going to get the neck. I'm gonna grab a color corrector um, 
by CD Color Cosmetics and it's a dark spot color corrector which is an orange that's going to cover all the dark undertones that she has under her eyes so that when I conceal with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Claire Fair, um, it highlights her and it hides all the darkness and the blue undertones. Now with the concealer, I'm going to put that on this on all, under the eyes and I'm also going to use this concealer to sharpen up the wing. Um, and then I'm also going to use it as a bridge of the nose, the forehead, and the cheek. And I'm going to blend all that with a um, what is this? A beauty sponge by Real Techniques. But I'm going to make sure that I spray that uh, NYX primer so that everything blends out better. Eyes. I'm also going to bake the bridge of her nose, uh, her cupid's bow, and basically everywhere where I put the, uh, the concealer uh, for highlights so that it sets and it stays on all day, it doesn't crease. And when I'm going to choose uh, for the rest of the face to set it, I'm going to take the Revlon Photo Ready uh, Powder in the shade 20, light medium, and set everywhere that I didn't cook. Fake, as other people say. Now it's time to bronze the skin, and what I'm gonna use is the palette by NYX, the lightest shade with a NARS uh, contour brush. And what I'd like to do is I like to start from the top of her ear. To the corner of her mouth and I like to stop around the, um, the apples of the cheeks and that is how I like to kind of um, bronze the face and uh, give her some contour as well. I'm going to use this powder to also contour her jawline, um, her forehead and I'm going to use the rest of that in the brush to bronze her nose as well. Snatch the nose. Secret Cosmetics blush. Oh, never mind. I'm going to grab what is that? Blush by MAC. It's called Blunt. Uh, and this is just gonna sharp her contour. And I'm gonna use a brush that I bought at Michael's. And now I'm gonna grab the Their Little Secret Cosmetics uh, blush in Kitty Pink uh, to uh, give some more color to her apples and cheeks. I feel like this color really complements her the look. What I'm gonna do now is um, highlight the uh, cheekbones with uh, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Soft and Gentle. And I'm gonna use an ELF blush brush um, to really pack that on her. Uh, cheekbones, the, her cupid's bow, the tip of her nose, um, and after that I like to set the skin with the L'Oreal setting spray and before it dries I'm gonna take uh, Laura Geller Gilded Honey and uh, Morphe brush uh, E61 it's a highlighting brush and I'm really gonna go ahead and highlight the top of her cheekbones uh, so that she can have a really blinding glow I'm going to use Gilded Honey to highlight the tip of her nose and her cupid's bow as well. And with Gilded Honey, I'm going to also highlight her brow bone. That way I have a really beautiful gold uh, shimmer up, up there because the eyes are so matte. 
Uh, so grabbing Charm again um, by the Jeffree Star and Judgment palette, uh, our crease color, and I'm gonna go ahead and blow that up out on the bottom part of her eyes uh, with uh, a blending brush. I didn't like the first one, so I switched to the MAC 224, and I'm gonna grab after that the color Military uh, with the pencil brush by Sigma, which is the E30, my favorite. And I'm really gonna go ahead and put that color all over the bottom lash, lash line. Add some mascara, and we are done with the eyes. Moving on to the lips, um, I felt like this Tarte lip paint in Delish really complemented this look, but I thought it was a little bit, um, a little bit too dark. So I went in with a matte with a Sephora lip stain in number 13 to really kind of. Uh, lighten it up and the look is complete. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you would like an eyebrow tutorial. Uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see everybody in the next video. Bye bye.